G'day all, welcome to another video. So we've got something a little different today. This is really interesting actually, really useful too, especially if you're a programmer. Uh, converting to and from binary, or counting in binary, or basically what binary actually means. Uh, so you might be aware that computers count with nothing but a bunch of ones and zeros, and it's called binary. So the screen that you're looking at, or where everything a computer does really, is just a CPU and the graphics card and, you know, RAM. Uh, they're all just chugging through billions and billions and billions of ones and zeros. Just an incomprehensibly large number of ones and zeros. It's amazing what they can do. Amazing. Anyway, before we count in binary, uh, we better have a look at the way we normally count. Now, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure that everybody knows how to count already. But I just want to remind people that this is actually an invention, and it's an extremely good invention. I'd probably go as far as to say that it's one of the most uh, important inventions that human beings have ever come up with. It's absolutely beautiful. Very, very useful. Amazing. Uh, anyway, we count in base 10. Uh, we use what's called the positional system of notation. And that's as opposed to using something like Roman numerals or a tally system. You know, we don't just put down five marks to mean the number five. Uh, we don't just put down a thousand marks on a piece of paper if we want to mean the number a thousand. No, we've got a much, much better way of writing them. Uh, it's called the positional system. So basically, in the positional system, we've got these n ten digits, uh, zero through nine, and each digit has a numerical value, like five means f five, and four, funnily enough, means four. Uh, but they've also got um, a value based on their position in the number. So the further and further you go uh, left, the more and more um, value these numbers are multiplied by. So right here, this 5 is actually 5 multiplied by 1. Uh, this 4 just here, we know that's in the tens column, so that's actually um, 4 multiplied by 10. means 40. And of course, this 8 just here is in the hundreds column, so that actually means 800. So we know that our final number is 845. Good stuff. So what's actually happening is that each successive uh, column to the left is really being multiplied by a power of 10. Uh, the very first one is multiplied by 10 to the power of 0. Uh, then the next column is multiplied by 10 to the power of 1. Then 10 to the power of 2. That's the uh, 8 just here. And... Of course, we'd have 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 4, 10 to the power of 5, etc., etc., etc. So we just keep multiplying things by sort of 1, then 10, then 100, then 1,000, then 10,000, 100,000. Yeah, you know how it works, really. Pretty easy. Uh, this is basically what it looks like. Yeah, I just thought I'd write it out. 5 by 10 to the 0, plus 4 by 10 to the 1, plus 10 by... Sorry, plus 8 by 10 to the 2. It gives you 845. And, funnily enough, binary works in almost exactly the same way. So, binary system, when, when people say binary, what they usually mean is a um, positional system. And it's really closely related to the way that we count. They're actually um, two different members of exactly the same uh, number family. They're both the positional system. Uh, in binary, there's only two digits. There's zero and there's one. And we write numbers pretty much the same. Uh, except there's no other digits. So we can't use 2, you can't use 3 or 5 or 9. You certainly can't use 7. And uh, 4 is out of the question as well. But you can use 0 and 1, which is pretty cool. Uh, and the successive powers, as you move to the left, they're not powers of 10, they're powers of 2. Binary is just crazy about 2. Crazy about 2. Okay, so here's just a few little... I don't know, something to think about, but if you want to count in binary, you can just go 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 100, 101, 110, 111. Um, you can actually just say the numbers that only consist of 1s and zeros. So the very first number that consists of a 1 and a 0 is 1. And the very next number that consists of nothing but a 1 and a 0 is actually 10. So, you know, 7 or 8, 9, you've got to skip all those. But um, 10 actually means 2 in uh, in binary. And 11, which is actually the third number um, with nothing but 1s and zeros, 11 actually means 3. 
So this is just one way to think about it. This is a really, really slow way too, but we'll get onto a quick way in a minute. Yeah, but that's one way to think of the way that binary works. Uh, if you count up and you count nothing but numbers with 1 and 0, uh, you're counting in binary. Okay, that's stupid. Yeah, that's really slow. If you were on the street and uh, someone pulled you up and said, could you tell us what the 634th binary number is? And if you were using that system that we just looked at, um, you'd be pretty hard pressed to do it. And you probably have to start questioning the person's motives as well. All right, so let's convert 634 to binary, shall we? This is actually a, an algorithm. This is a set of steps to convert a base 10 number into binary, and it's much, much quicker than doing what we just said, which would be a waste of time. Uh, I like to write out two columns. Uh, I call them left and digit. And the left column is going to be what we've still got left to convert. And the digit column is going to be our binary digits, the digits of our number. Okay, so in the left column, you start out by writing the original number. So we've got 634 written in the left column. Uh, then what we do is we divide that number by 2. And 634 divided by 2 gives you exactly 317. And the important thing is that there's no remainder there. So if you've got your calculator out and you divide 634 by 2, you'll get 317.0, no remainder. The next time that we divide this, um, sorry, yeah, there was no remainder, so we write a 0 in the digit column. I didn't say that, did I? Uh, anyway, then we, we repeat, but this time we divide um, 317 by 2, gives us 158, but we also get 0.5 at the end. Um, or remainder 1. So 317 divided by 2 is 158 remainder 1. So we put the remainder in the digits column and we write 158 in the left column. Then we divide 158 by 2. 158 divided by 2 gives you 79 remainder 0. So we write the remainder in the digits column and we write 79 in the left column. We do it again and again and again and again and again. So 79 uh, over 2 gives you 39 remainder 1. 39 over 2 gives you 19 remainder 1. Uh, 19 over 2 gives you 9 remainder 1. Then we get 4 remainder 1, uh, 2 remainder 0, 1 remainder 0, and 0 remainder 1. You just keep repeating it over and over again, writing out the uh, remainders in the digits column, and eventually you'll end up with um, 0 in your left column. And you're done, really. Uh, if you write out this, the digits, starting from the lowest one down here, going all the way to the top, write it out from uh, left to right, that's your binary number. So 1011111010 zero, zero, one, 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 zero, one, zero in binary is 634 in decimal. Good stuff. Good algorithm. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I... If you're confused as to how that works, um, I've found that it's really helpful actually to look at it converting from base 10 to base 10. So this is a pretty pointless exercise really. Converting from base 10 to base 10 is completely pointless. Um, but it will show exactly what this algorithm is doing. And this uh, algorithm can actually be used to convert to any base. So you could convert to hexadecimal with this, or you could convert to base 8, you know, base 9, base 3, base 427 million. It doesn't matter. Uh, it'll convert to any base, no worries. But this is how it, this is how it works. So we convert 634 from base 10 into base 10. Uh, we write 634 in our left column. And the first thing we do is divide that by 10. 634 divided by 10 will give us 63 remainder 4. So we write the 4 in the digits column and we keep the 63 in the left column. And then we just repeat. So 63 divided by 10 gives us uh, 6 remainder 3. So we write the remainder in the digits column, and we put the 6 in the left column. And the final stage, 6 divided by 10 is 0. Um, 6, yeah, 10 doesn't go into 6 at all. So we write that remainder, that 6, in the digits column, and we write 0 in the left column. And that's our answer, of course. You know, surprise, surprise, 634 in base 10 equals exactly 634 in base 10. Um, but we can see how it works. So the first division that we did, um, that remainder there that we got was uh, actually the digits column. And that's this 4 just here. It's pretty obvious how we got that. Uh, but the next time that we did it, 
uh, the 63 divided by 10, what we're actually doing is um, dividing 634 by 100. Yeah, we're actually dividing 634 by 100. Uh, we've actually removed the 4 just here, so we're really dividing 630 by 100. Yeah, we remove the 4 and we put it in the digits column, remember? And the next one that we're doing, uh, this final one just here, we're actually dividing 600 by uh, 1000. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how it works anyway. Cool algorithm. This will show you why yeah, we did that. Stupid. That slide was completely out of order. Out of order. Anyway, going the other way is pretty cool as well. So converting binary to base 10 is, if anything, simpler. I don't know. Let's have a look. So here I've got a binary number down here. Pretty cool one. 1101, one, you know. I'm sure you can read it. Uh, but we're going to convert this into base 10. Okay, so the first thing to do, this is a bit different too. This is different. You can actually use that system from the um, previous slides where you just keep dividing by um, 10. But you've got to be able to divide in binary and get the remainder in binary, which is not something that we're going to go into just here. Anyway, this is another algorithm that you might find more comfortable. So write 1 above the first digit, just like that. Uh, then 2 above the next. So there's a 1 here, then you double it and get 2. You write that above the next digit. And the next one, you write a 4. You just double this 2 just here. The next one, you double that and you get an 8. So 4 multiplied by 2 gives us 8. Then we double it to 16. We double it to 32. We double it to 64. Then 128, 256, and 512. So you just keep writing out the, um, you know, you start with one and just keep doubling it. Writing each above another digit. Um, yeah, then you have to remove all of the ones above a zero digit. But what I want to say first of all is that what we've actually done just here, and you've probably noticed, um, we've written the powers of two above the digits. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 20, you know, 48, 4096. They're all the powers of 2. Um, yeah, good. So any of them that's written above uh, a 0 has got to go. There we go. I got rid of them. That leaves us with six more digits. Uh, 512, 256, 64, 8, 4, and 1. And these numbers just here, this, for instance, this 1 just here, uh, is actually what this column is worth in binary. So this 1 just here is worth 1 in binary. That's the 1's column in base 10, and it's also the 1's column in binary. Uh, this 1 just here, that would be the 100's column if it was base 10. But in binary, it's actually the 4's column. So that 1 right there isn't worth 1, that's actually worth 4. Exactly the same as if there was you know, a 1 right there in base 10, it wouldn't mean 1, it would mean 100. Uh, this 1 just here actually means 8. Uh, that's not the thousands column like base 10. Nope, in binary that's actually the 8's column. Uh, anyway, this one's worth 64, this one's worth 256, this one's worth 512. So, uh, to get our final answer, all we have to do is sum all of those numbers together. 512 plus 256 plus 64 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 equals 845 and 1101001101 equals exactly 845 in base 10. There you go. So that's um, converting a base 10 number into binary and going the other way, converting a binary number into base 10. I hope that was useful and I hope you use it. Uh, I'd really like to do another couple of um, toots on this sort of stuff. But uh, I just want to say before we go that this calculator here, I've put up on my website, there'll be a um, link down the bottom. And I think the Windows calculator can do this as well. But if you want to know if you're um, converting properly, uh, this is Shami, Shami Trial, Arbitrary Precision Calculator. So we can do um, base conversions. Okay, so to convert a number to binary, you just uh, type 2 alpha base, then you open brackets, then you type a number. And as a second parameter there, you go comma and 2. So 2 is the base that we're converting it to. You hit equals, and it'll tell you what that number is in binary. Um, yeah, or if you want to write a number in binary and convert it to base 10, then um, 
get rid of that. Just write your binary number out. Then have your um, curly brackets. OX2, just like that. And then we hit equals. And there it is. So that number there in binary is that in base 10. Yeah, so you can download this calculator if you like. I just want to actually check something. Uh, yeah, here's the uh, Windows calculator. If you want to do the same thing or a similar thing in the Windows calculator, you can actually use this as well. So if we go into um, View and you click on Programmer, then you can choose over here what you want to type in. So say we check on uh, Decimal, which is another name for Base 10. So we could be something like 89, hit Equals. And then if we click on Bin just here for Binary, it'll tell us what 89 is in Binary. Uh, likewise, if you're using the Windows calculator, I don't know how to clear it. No, there we go. It's gone. It's gone. Uh, you could type a binary number, so long as you've got bin checked here. And then when you want to know what it is in decimal or base 10, you just click DEC. Hit 25. Yeah, okay. So that's um, how to check your answers with uh, the Windows calculator and the calculator that I made called Shami. And that's how to convert binary. Uh, I hope that was useful. And good on ya. See you later.